Hello Mouth Problems. This is one of your fans, I View the Tube. Um, on Mar March 31st, 2007, you posted a video, Ask Math Problems, Math Problems. In it, you had asked, Can someone work out this problem for one of YouTubers? Thanks. And the question is, In the beginning of June 1932, the Sea Bay Zwiedersee in the Netherlands was closed by a dam. The salt content, grams per liter in the lake, decreased with time uh, with the equation y sub t equals 0 0.1 plus 5.8 times the exponent of negative of 0 0.083 times t. Show in a graph how the salt content decreases. I'm going to demonstrate how uh, a problem like this can be solved using Microsoft Excel. Um, computers are great for performing redundant tasks like these. Um, it allows people to, who like math problems to go on and do bigger and better math problems. Um, I did discover a mistake later on. Um, I had used the units years instead of the units months as indicated in the uh, problem, but at least this will give you the general idea how, how this problem should be worked out. Uh, when the graph is complete, you should have a graph that looks something like this. It'll have the title on, on the top there, uh, salt level in the bay of Zwieter disease, with the equation if you want to put into it, with salt grams per liter and your y-axis, and your years in the x-axis. Go to your computer there, and uh, if you have Microsoft Office, you should have Microsoft Office Excel. Just uh, click the button there, and it will open up Excel, and a spreadsheet will show up. Type in block A1, 1932 for your beginning year, um, 1933 for the next year, and you don't have to type every single year you want to put in. You just get that small plus and just drag it down like this and then when you let go of the button you'll have all the years indicated that that you wanted if you didn't like what you put there you just put clear contents after highlighting the numbers that you wanted to delete now if you don't want every year maybe every other year uh, Excel will notice the pattern of the the first two numbers or whatever sequence you have there and repeat it uh, as you can see, there were every two years is showing up here, and you just drag it down until you get the number of years you want, and let go of the button. Voila, all the numbers are there. Now, to type in your equation, we'll put that in the B column. Uh, start equations with the equal number. There's your equation equals zero plus is zero point one plus five point eight uh, ex times exp is a natural natural exponent. It's a minus 0 0.083 times. Now watch this. It, Excel doesn't have variables like what you normally see. You'd, it uses the actual um, cells. So go over to cell A1 and click that button, and you'll notice that A1 will show up as your variable. See the A1 there? And then, of course, I'm going to go minus 1932 because I'm going to have it in time in reference to years instead of uh, just time zero. And when you hit enter, there's a value. Now, you don't have to type that equation in every single box. You, um, what you do is do the same thing you did in the first column. Uh, oh, by the way, I'm going to format the cells here so that uh, I have three digits instead of the one there. And uh, so I right click, format cells, numbers, three digits, OK. There's your OK. And voila, you should see three digits there now. Now I'm going to drag that down to all the other um, cells till the end. And what it will do is automatically refer to the cell before it, because that's what you did in the first uh, example. And there you are, all the answers. Now you essentially have a table there that you'll be able to make a graph. Highlight the 
numbers you want to make a graph out of and click the uh, chart wizard uh, icon and go down to XY scatter click that button and pick your favorite format there click that say next and just start answering the questions on how you would like to have your chart or graph formatted um, hit next and see all the tabs up there it, you can add grids for example change the color, add titles, name your axis all those things uh, you just click one tab at a time until you get the look that you're looking for and when you're all done just hit finish and, and uh, even after you're done with your graph you can click on different parts of the graph and change the color, change the text, add text, subtract text and get the graph looking just the way you like it. So that's how you make your own graph, your own custom graph, using Microsoft Excel.